Baron Oth and my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our words actually come from uh, one of the more precious uh, moments in the Bible, in, this, in the sense of uh, what it really, the implications it had for us. But then I want to take a lesson for our own lives from it. And uh, we're saved by a little three-letter word, uh, B-U-T, uh, but. Uh, it says right here, you remember the Lord Jesus Christ and what in his time with the Father in the Garden of Gethsemane before he goes to the cross, is praying in agony. And it says this. It says, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw and kneeled down and prayed. Sorry, this is Luke chapter 22, now verse 42. Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. Now I want to pause there for one second. So what's really happening here is Jesus Christ is literally saying, Father, if we can pass this cup from you, there's any other way we can go about doing this, then let's choose that. But what's most important in this statement here is when he says, but nevertheless, not what I, what, well, nevertheless, not what I will, but thine will be done, right? Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. See, this is a lesson for us in our own lives. Sometimes when we recognize we want to be in God's will, sometimes we got to recognize that sometimes God's will in our life may not seem like a pleasant thing at the moment. But you also remember in Hebrews, it tells us that Jesus Christ endured the cross for the joy that was set before him. That joy, we've talked about this in the past, being me and you. We were the joy that was set before him. In other words, that's what it was a reward of his willingness to do the Father's will right now, to endure the cross, to endure the shame. And so for us, when we think about our, the will of the God, God in our lives, I think one thing we have to recognize sometimes, we look at God's will and things he's doing in our life, and we oftentimes go, Lord, this can't be a good thing. Why would you have this in your will for me? But at the end of the day, we have to recognize that he's not leaving us alone in that will. He's working that will to an end, just as he was right now in, the Savior, in our Savior's life. His will being done brought about our salvation. What is his will being done in your life, even in the hard times going to bring about in your life? And then I'm also reminded in that same passage, it says this. It says in verse 43, And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And as it were, sweat, of great drops, uh, sweat was as were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And he rose in a prayer and was come to disciples and found them sleeping in sorrow and said unto them, Why sleepest thou? Why sleepest you? Anyway, what I really want to focus on here is this point. That, he, that even in the midst of all that agony, all the hardship, all the trial, as he was praying for the Father's will in his life to be done, knowing that full well that will meant the cross, that none, nevertheless he was willing to do the Father's will, but the Father didn't leave him alone in the agony. It says an angel appeared to him from heaven and strengthened him. Guys, this is such a beautiful thing because if we will walk in God's will, even though sometimes it feels like maybe we're walking and it's kind of painful, it's hurtful, or it's trying, or it's hard, then we can recognize, though, the beauty of it is this, is that God's not leaving us alone in that. He's there with us. He hasn't left us alone since the day that His Holy Spirit come and dwells you. He's there with you. He's walking with you in this. So this will, this trouble, this hardship that we may have to walk through, God's walking in it with us. He sent one to minister to us through it. So we can have those that message from his Holy Spirit, the message from his word, and sometimes even the message from our brothers and sisters in Christ to come alongside and help us as we look at these daunting mountains of, wow, Lord, what ifs? What's going to happen? What's coming next? And we can go, Lord, I trust you in this. And even though my flesh may be weak at this moment and say, how can I possibly handle this, Lord? You, Lord can have your will done because your spirit can walk me through it. So I hope that I encourage you today just to remember that God is with you. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.